Licky with the cat dragged in. Literally. Today I am here to do a review for the junkie spot on the cutest little baby kitties ever. Yes, indeed. These are the much loved junkie spot exclusive Hujo Nanos. So essentially what these guys are, are miniature versions of the Hujo Freyas, or the Freyers. I, I think they're probably a little bit more looking, I mean, I don't know. I don't know if you could really say they look female or male to me. They kind of, they're just so tiny. I don't think they look very much like either gender. So I guess you could have it whatever way you want. They are pretty much the same things as the Cujo babies as far as me measurements go for like the rest of the body. It's just the head that's a bit different. Um, and let me go ahead and lay down those specs for you. So like our Hujo Freyas and our Freyers, they do come with tails and magnets. So these aren't already glued for you. You have to glue them yourself, uh, which isn't too hard at all. If you use something like a super glue, there is also some really, really good, you know, crafting glue that they sell at the junkie spot there uh, to do such things like this. It's it's not hard at all. I mean, it, the two magnets are already here, and this one right here that looks more like a cylinder is going to be the one that's going to fit into the um, tail part of the kitty. So that one's going to go in here. And then your other one that's your flat magnet is going to be the one that will be glued uh, to the actual cat. Uh, like I've said before, I think it's kind of like up to you how you want to do it. You don't even really technically have to glue this magnet onto the body. You could actually do it like through the clothing and whatnot. It's a pretty strong magnet. Even if, as, if you can see right now, I don't have it glued in, which will be my point of advice. When you do glue it in, be super careful because if you have these two magnets close to each other, anywhere near each other, they will find each other and it will be disastrous because you'll have super glue everywhere. So yeah, just be super careful. They're really, really, you know, strong. So yeah, that's essentially the tail. Um, and, and they come with the magnets in a separate little baggie and you, you kind of can choose how you're going to want to do that and whatnot. So on to more of our little Hujo friends here. I really, really, really do love the heads, which is where I'm going to go ahead and start my more detailed portion of this review. Um, opposed to the other Hujo babies, which are sold by the same company, um, these guys, the heads to me seem like they're more solidly cast. Everything below the head is going to be pretty much the same as that of our Hujo babies. So this is my little Hujo baby. He's wearing a little Adventure Time outfit. So if you can see, and, and honestly, I mean, these are like, you know, the... Not, I, I want to say kind of like first generation <laughs> or, or something along those lines. Um, so, I mean, yeah, they're not, they're not as, as you know, thickly casted as the other ones. And with this one, you kind of have to really just wobble it back and forth so you can open it. But, I mean, as you can see, this is kind of like as thick as it's casted. But if you see our friends here, and same thing, you're just going to want to go ahead and move it back and forth. You could get like a little tool and try to pry it open that way, but I just think it's just safer just to try to wiggle it back and forth. There you go. You can see, I mean, there's a significant, a significant difference on how it's casted there. I think it's like thicker all around, um, which I think it just makes it a lot more sturdier. Not to, you know, say anything against the Hujo babies, it's just I thought that was an interesting thing that they've been doing. As, as they've been getting more and more into making their dolls, even with like the new male dolls that they have, the 45 centimeter dolls, the head sculpts have been just changing dramatically. And they've been just getting better and better and better. So let me go ahead and just continue on with the review and show you about our little head here. So we have a, a peg system. So there's going to be the two pegs here and this tiny one here that is going to match up with the open pegs that are here. You can see, just like our other Hujo friends, the elastic is located right here. 
Now, there's no eye mechanisms for this guy here. Our other dollies, even the Hujo Freyas, they have that eye mechanism inside, that kind of silicone. These guys, the way you're going to go ahead and put in their eyeballs are going to be with your good old-fashioned putty and your good old-fashioned eyes. So you're going to have to go ahead and put them in with the putty, which is not a difficult thing. I know it's really tiny in here, but my suggestion would be to either just move the elastic aside um, and try to put them in that way. I mean, it's just tiny. You should be able to try to, you know, after you make your donut and whatnot, just to stick it in there and, you know, adjust. But if that seems like it's going to be too crazy for you, then I'd say just go ahead and take the head off completely. And essentially all you would have to do is just stick something in here into the elastic to kind of keep it in place. That way you can remove the head and work on uh, putting in your eyes more, you know, intricately and whatnot. And then you'll just go ahead and kind of like slip this back in and it'll be just fine. Make sure you do grab all your strings though. You don't want to leave anything behind. And whoop, there we go. So no problems, no problems. And I mean, if this does happen to, you know, jump into the body, it's just a matter of just pulling it back up. Um, which does lead me to go ahead and tell you a little bit more about our stringing for this little guy. So if you noticed, we had one, two, three, four pieces of, it looks like four pieces of elastic. Essentially what it is, is just like our other larger friends, it's the big loop of elastic that's put all the way up here and then tied off. This is what's looped in through the body and down to the feet here. That's what comes all the way down here. Now, the other piece of elastic that we have here is going to be for the arms and right here you can actually see the knot right there. So there's essentially two loops of elastic, one that goes throughout the body down from the feet all the way up to the head and then one loop of elastic that goes from side to side for the arms. So if you ever did have to restring these little guys, it's going to be essentially two strings of elastic that you're going to have to use. One for the body and torso and whatnot and the feet and then one for the arms. <laughs> just like a true cat, um, we can tilt our head to the side, which is super cute. Um, the head does swivel from side to side. We can look up really nicely just like that. Down, we can't push it down too, too much because that's how the base of our neck is kind of formed. There's nothing, you know, to hang on to and whatnot. So that's kind of our extent right there. As you can see, it's got a two-part torso system. That means it's got an upper part right here and then the bottom right here, including the hips. And essentially what we can do is we can move to the side. We can move a little bit to this side here. If you were to put some type of suading, um, if you get like a low temp glue gun and just put some along the inside right here, you could probably get it to hold it better on the sides if that's something that you wanted to do. As far as leaning forward, this is how we can lean forward. We can pop our back outwards to go backwards. Not too bad. I mean, like I said, I mean, think about it. You're not paying that much for these guys. They're super affordable. And for them to be able to do this much stuff is just really, really, really cool. If we move on to our arms, we can move our arm outwards like this. If we do some clicking and some switching, we can have the arm go up. Arm can go down. You can see it's just a normal kind of like socket area that we have for the shoulder here. There's no floating pieces or anything for that part. Same thing for our elbow here. There's no floating pieces for the elbow, um, but it does click there to kind of give you a 90 degree angle and whatnot. And he can actually touch a space like that, so that's pretty cool. Even though I guess this, I don't think this is technically double jointed because it doesn't have like an extra piece here, but he's got a really good range of motion. Moving on to our wrists, now this is just like, this always amazed me because it really amazed me for the Hujo babies as well. There is actually a floating piece for the wrist here. And we also have, like I showed you earlier, a hook in the hand. So if you needed to take off the hands, maybe you wanted to paint these separately, you could actually take it off completely. Just make sure you put some type of stopper there. And then we go on to our little paws. They're super duper cute. I mean, look at that. That is like the cutest thing ever. Tiny itty bitty little paws. It even has a little padding right there. It's it's just way too cute. Um, range of motion for the little paw. Um, it can it can move side to side to an extent. 
Um, up and down, if you if you can kind of hinge it and click it to certain spots, you can you can hold it up and you can hold it down. Um, but I mean, it's not too crazy. I mean, I, I have it hitched here on a piece of the um, the wrist here, so that's why it's keeping its paw here. But I mean, it's not too too crazy as far as like you know, be able to go like woof, completely up and completely down. But I mean, it's still just super cute. I mean, look how tiny it is. So it's just amazing to begin with. So um, that's that's pretty much the uh, arms, the torso, the hands. We move down to the the legs down here. You'll notice a couple of things. First and foremost, um, these little parts down here can swivel, and depending on how you swivel them, it could make your cat stand or it can make it sit. Um, there's there's grooves that are placed right here along the inner thigh, and if that's placed upwards, that can make it sit just like this. Um, if you swivel it outwards and do some adjustments with the rest of the leg, it could be a standing position. So I mean, just keep a good eye on these lines right here. I think that'll kind of help guide you to to let you know if this is going to be a sitting position or if it's going to be a standing position. In the inside you'll see that it's it's a pretty simple socket. There is a bit of a lip there and when you're swiveling it around you can actually feel it almost catching on the parts here to kind of lock it into place. You can even hear it click. Moving down to our knees. Once again there isn't any floating part for the knees. Uh, it's just kind of like a simple pop for the knee. Um, it can pop at certain points and stop. It can stop even at this point here until we have a 90 degree angle. And it can close completely and then it kind of seals here at the knee. You can see that there. Going further down you have a floating piece down here for the ankle. And it's casted and shaped a certain way so that way you know that that's going to be a standing position. It's got a curve um, for the upper part of the foot so that way you know that that's that's supposed to be you know it's locked position at its standing area. Um, I, th I think the reason why we have more pieces here is just kind of to give it mobility and whatnot. Um, as far as pointing up and pointing down, this is us pointing down, this is us pointing upwards and kind of like at a rest position. And once again, kitty feet. Look how cute those are. I mean, that's so cute. Once again, we even have the little padding at the bottom. <laughs> Super duper cute. And if you didn't notice the rest of the little detailing, uh, we even have like a little belly button that's here um, on the tummy, which is really cute. And just some other just really, just kind of cool little detailing on the back too for the um, shoulder blades and whatnot. So overall, it's just like a super cute, fun little doll, I think. And like I mentioned before, if you're if you're looking to get some type of, you know, anthro doll and you're not looking to, you know, necessarily spend hundreds, this is definitely a good option to follow. Um, just to kind of do some sitting and, you know, standing tests. So this is the little kitty sitting. He's kind of like looking at his toes. See him sitting. You want to see him standing. So I'm putting him down. Just like my other dolly friends, I'm making sure I have him balanced. There he is, he's standing. It's super cute. I mean, look at it. Who wouldn't want this little face? And the faces are super cute. I mean, it's like a tad bit different from the Freya and the Freyers. I It is more childlike looking to me, I guess. Um, the Freyas almost have a little bit more slender eyes to me, but that, that could be just me being a little bit weird. But I, I think these little baby kitties have a little bit more open eyes to them. Um, I think it's definitely really, really cute and suitable and whatnot. So cute! So kind of a miniature review within a review. Um, I do have some 12 millimeter eyes here. They're glib eyes, which the Junkie Spot happens to sell as well. But I'm going to go ahead and show you inside of our Freyas, our little nanos here, um, if you were curious about how they look with eyes. Um, as you can see, they do come completely blank. They come blank and they do not have eyes. So that's something to kind of keep in mind if you do happen to buy one. You're going to need to buy some eyes, of course. And if you're going to um, 
be doing a paint job on your own, or maybe you might have to find somebody else uh, to commission and whatnot. That's something to consider. So these are the Glib Eyes. This is the little product number for them. This is the 12 LD09s. Here are the brown acrylic eyes. They're not too high domed, so they should be fitting pretty nicely on our kitties. Let's take a look. So that's a 12 millimeter eye inside of our kitty here. And these guys right here are the 12 LD07s. These are the blue eyes by Glib. Once again, not too bad. I mean, like I said before, acrylics can be hit or miss, but these are actually really, really nice. So there's a little blue 12 millimeter eye in our kitty. Not too bad, not too bad. So I hope that kind of helped any of you guys who are curious about the little Nano Freyas that are exclusively sold through the Junkie Spot. They are, they are just way too cute. I mean, if, if you're one of those people that loves those little anther dollies that like, you know, cats or, you know, you just like Hoosier dolls, period. I mean, these are definitely a must-have for sure. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to message me in the box below. I'll try my best to get back to you as soon as possible. And if you want to see more awesome dolly goodies, or if you want to go out and just quickly buy these cats as fast as you can, you can go ahead and head over to the Junkie Spot. That is www.junkiespot.com. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you guys have an awesome day. Bye!